So here we are, we've reached the playoffs already and I am not ready. Over the last sort of six weeks or so, I haven't really had the time for different reasons. I think that's been one of the biggest challenges is finding the time. Hopefully my uh, short game has got a lot better in these six months that I've been learning uh, and I've always been able to hit it. So just calm that down and bring my short game out and see what happens. I love the game, but also it is the most frustrating game in the world, which is golf. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna try and have fun in the playoffs and drink some gin. Well, the day has finally arrived. The 2022 Slingsby Golf Academy Playoff. Yes! And what does that mean, I hear you ask? Oh, it means that the four cadets are going head to head across the Edinburgh course here at the wonderful Winter. You can almost feel the tension in the air. That and the sunstroke. Well, their journey began back here at Wentworth in March, and it wasn't as warm as this, I can tell you. Six months ago, my um, husband was very excited that I was going to go and learn actually how to play golf properly. Um, maybe we could actually play together one day. So, yeah, it's been good fun, actually. Um, I think for me and Stuart, probably would have wanted more time together, but I think I've managed to change, actually Stuart's managed to change my game a lot. Improvements from day one to where we are now is, is huge and um, very much better equipped to, to handle the, the task ahead of us today. So we're, we, we are looking good, definitely. It's been good. I just haven't probably played as much as I'd have liked to. Um, it's been a bit stop start, had some good lessons and then I can go sort of three days later and it feels like I've never hit a ball. But I think that's just golf, isn't it? I think it's, I think you'll probably tell with Anna, when she, if she gives it a good hit, it's go, it goes miles. So I think it's that sort of eagerness to kind of want to give it a bit of a whack. So I'm like, just let's calm down. Let's just try and think about keeping the ball in play. It's effectively a marathon, not a sprint. So just trying to think a bit more about, take your time. Just try and get the chipping putting quite close. So if we can do that well, I think we'll, uh, we'll be all right. We'll be okay. I've loved the journey with the Slingsby Academy because it was a six month period. Um, learn in six months, there's a target at the end of it to be able to play a match against each other and possibly, well, one of us will play in the Pro-Am. I think without that, I may well not have stuck with it, but I am absolutely hooked now. I think it's just the enjoyment she's found in it. I think obviously, busy lifestyle that Judy has, it's great so you can get away from it and kind of take a bit of a breather and, and do her thing playing golf. So it's just really, for me, it's, it's just the smile on her face and the enjoyment that she's getting from it. I think I've definitely made progress which you would expect. Um, I'm not sure that <laughs> I'm not sure that I should be playing a full round of golf at Wentworth. I'm not sure I'm quite at that level. But you know, we're here, the sun is shining, um, we we're gonna enjoy it. It's gonna be a great day and we might lose some balls, but that's fine. You know, even just things like the Harrogate, you hit a great shot in, um, it lands in the green and it was she had a chance at a birdie there. Um, and like you said, golf isn't linear, so sometimes you have the peaks and then you have the troughs almost a little bit, but that's also in hole by hole that happens in golf and that happens in the professional game as well as when people are just starting. So yeah, I definitely wouldn't count Zoe out for that. So after six months of working on their game, they now know which end of the club to hold, they know how to get the ball in the air and they've got enough lead in their pencil to record a score. I jest, of course, all four of them have done remarkably well. And of course, let's not forget the help they've had along the way from their PGA professionals. So after 18 holes around the Edinburgh course here at Wentworth, the scores will be added up and the person with the highest Stapleford score will be awarded with the golden ticket. They will play in the world famous, wonderful, fabulous, incredible, BMW PGA Pro-Am Championship. Come on, Judy! Sorry, ladies. Welcome to the 2022 Slingsby Golf Academy Playoff. Cadets, welcome 
to Wentworth Golf Club for the 2022 Slingsby Golf Academy Playoff. You will play an 18 hole Stapleford. Best of luck and stay cool. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, sorry. On the tee, from Burhill, Anna Woolhouse. <laughs> On the tee, from Glen Eagles, my personal favourite, don't tell the others, Judy Murray. Go on, kid. Oi! Oh, I have to say that that is the only thing I remember from Strictly Come Dancing. <laughs> On the tee, from Minchin Hampton, Sounds like a made up place. The wonderful Zara Tim. Yes. Yes. On the tee from Sundridge Park, exquisite Dr. Zoe Williams. Yes. Good shot. Well, they're away. They're off and running. I think um, I've had a lot of little personal wins today, you know, with certain good shots, getting out of bunkers, some quite nice putts, but mixed in with a whole load of absolute rubbish. Um, so I suppose that's the whole thing about golf, especially when you're starting. It's incredibly <laughs> inconsistent, but hugely enjoyable. Gorgeous day, great fun, but very frustrating. And I would like these next four holes, I'd like to be a bit more consistent. <laughs> oh, the drive, when you hear it, the sound, that's the best thing. When you, when you know you've hit a good shot, it's the best feeling in the world, but it's figuring out why you hit a good shot. That's what I'm still figuring out, what I'm doing right when I'm doing it. seem to be hitting irons better than um, woods and drivers um, and I guess thankfully something that I've always had um, it's come naturally is I can hit the ball reasonably far. Um, so there's been a couple of good points, a um, couple of good holes and then I've probably hit one good shot per hole. <laughs> um, so that's been good in a way, and then slightly depressing in others, but no, it's been enjoyable and getting out there and, and actually playing, and it's just, I feel bad for our, for our caddies who've been training us and um, when you hit a, a duff shot, but luckily not, well, they all know how, how the game of golf is. Why? Too much. Thanks, Hugh. Great job. She's absolutely delighted to be invited along. It's a shame she can't stay. <laughs> she's burned those clubs and she'll see you next time. <laughs> oh, well done. Well done. <laughs> Ladies, first of all, I'd just like to say congratulations. Absolutely amazing. It's fabulous that you've taken part in this Slingsby initiative. It's just brilliant. You're an inspiration to women and girls around the country to take up golf and have some fun with it. And you've demonstrated the great social side of golf as well as the actual game itself. So on, on that front, you've 
absolutely marvellous and you're brilliant. And it doesn't matter how you've played, it's been amazing. But we do have a result. The 2022 Slingsby Golf Academy result is in fourth place. Oh, come on, are we actually reading these out? <laughs> is Anna. <laughs> well done. <laughs> With a tremendous score. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> which I shan't divulge. Into third place came Dr. Zoe. Woo! Well done, congratulations. <laughs> Into and let me just say the scores were closer than you think they were. Actually, they were very. It was a very closely run thing. <laughs> uh, into second place, Zar, <laughs> which means our winner Judy. is Judy <laughs> Murray. Oh, <laughs> oh! If only you were that good on Strictly Come Dancing, we might have. <laughs> it's the wrong game. I thought you did the wrong game. Congratulations. Thank you. Well done, and well done to all of you. Absolutely thank you, brilliant. Thank you to my pro well for teaching pros. me. Well done. Well, well done, done your pros and your yeah. caddies. Congratulations. Absolutely marvellous. Yeah, look, it's been great fun. I had uh, such a good time the whole way through this. I think I've had a brilliant teacher in uh, Matthew who's made it really fun uh, for me. He has been so incredibly patient um, with uh, with everything that I've been trying to do. And I think we've had some great days out with, with Slingsby, with, with all of you. We've got to know each other well. And I do think that that whole thing of learning in six months and learning together as part of a group has been a big thing for me because there's been a goal at the end of it and there's a friendship group. And we all know that as women who enjoy sport, the whole thing of fun, friends and fitness. And for me, the Slingsby Golf Academy brought all three of those things into it and it's been absolutely brilliant. So thanks for making it so much fun for me. <laughs> Judy, I'd like to present you with the Slingsby Golf Academy Winners' Trophy 2022. <laughs> Thank you. Um, firstly, ladies, we, we met back here in when January time and you set out on this journey and we talked about how important it was to encourage you know, women and girls to, to get into sport, to break down barriers and I promise you from the bottom of my heart, seeing you all out there battling with this course, which is a really hard course and you've never played 18 holes before, it was awesome today. So thank you all and congratulations to Judy. Now the, the next challenge presents itself. BMW PGA, our flagship event here at Wentworth. We have 47 events around the world. This is our world's largest pro-am. 20,000 people are gonna greet you down there on the first tee. Um, but congratulations on today's much. win. Thank you very much. And congratulations to each of you. Cheers. What a day it's been here at Wentworth. Four wonderful ladies took on Wentworth, but as the sun sets on this wonderful course, only one lady will be standing here on this incredible course. Congratulations to Judy Murray. I knew you could do it. She follows Helen Skelton as the winner of the Slingsby Golf Academy. Until next time, it's goodbye from me and a thank you to Judy, Dr. Zoe, Anna and Zara in allowing us to follow their golf journey.